ഹലോ എവറി വൺ ഐ എം ഷെറിൻ ജോസ് ടി ഫ്രം സെൻറ്റ് ജോസഫ് കോളേജ് ഇരിഞ്ഞാലക്കുട ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ഹൗ ടു ഫൈൻ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് പ്രിമിറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് ത്രൂട്ട് ഓഫ് യൂണിറ്റി ഇൻ ഗാൽവ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഓർഡർ എൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് മച്ച് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് പ്രോബ്ലം ഇൻ ഓൾ ജിബ്ര ആൻഡ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഫീൽ സം ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി ഇൻ ഫൈൻഡിങ് ദ ആൻസർ so here i am going to present some easy steps to find how to find the number of primitive nth root i'm not going to go uh, go to the theory of this problem i'm just showing an easy way out to find the answer so let us go to the steps first step first step is to check whether n divides n minus 1 so uh, n here whatever number gives using that you have to find whether n divides n minus 1 now if it does not divide then there does not exist primitive nth root of unity and if it divides then there exists primitive nth root of unity so you, from this first step you can decide whether primitive nth root is there or not now in the second step if it divides you have to find how many are there so for that first what you have to do is you have to find m equal to n minus 1 by n this m has a role in this problem so m is equal to n minus 1 by n you will find first then in the next step you have to find integers that is less than n minus 1 and gcd of n minus 1 and that number should come as the m you have found in step 2 so this is uh, uh, this is a way of finding numbers just numbers that is coming less than n minus 1 and gcd of this coming as m you have to list all such integers and you have to count how many such integers exist so that count will give you number of primitive and the root of unity in gf of n it is easy as it is so these are the only thing you have to do first you have to find m then you have to find all the uh, integers less than n minus 1 and gcd of n minus 1 and that integer should come as m and all such integers you have to list or you have to find that count that count will give you number of primitive nth root of unity in gf of n so let us check out one or two problems in this so first problem find number of primitive eighth root of unity in gf of 9 so here our n is equal to 8 and capital n is equal to 9 so first you have to check whether n divides n minus 1 or not here small n is cap 8 and that divides 9 minus 1 that is 8 8 divides 8 definitely it is true so the first step is over so you can tell the rexist primitive the rexist primitive eighth root of unity now next step is how many such primitive eighth root of unity are there so for that first you have to do m is equal to n minus 1 by small n that is equal to 8 by 8 that is equal to 1 now you have to find integer k that is coming less than n minus 1 and gcd of n minus 1 comma k should come as m here what will happen is instead of n minus 1 we have 8 and gcd of 8 comma k equal to 1 so this means that that is relatively prime numbers so ultimately what you have to find you have to find numbers less than 8 and relatively prime to it that you can easily find by the formula phi of 8 that is equal to 8 into 1 minus 1 by 2 hope you know this formula this is equal to 4 so there are four numbers that is less than 8 and gcd with 8 is coming as 1 means there are four primitive eighth root of unity
property in GF of 9. So, you are getting the answer as 4. So, this is so simple uh, uh, three step problem. So, first you check the whether it is device, then you are finding M, then you are finding the number of uh, case, then lastly you will get the answer. So, this is a way how to do it. Let us do one more problem. What about this one? So, here your n is equal to 15 and capital N is equal to 31. The first step, whether n divides n minus 1. So, here 15 divides n minus 1 is coming as 30. Ah, yes, this is true. So, your first step is over. So, there exists primitive, primitive 15th root of unity that is definitely existing now you have to find the count so next step you have to find m is equal to n minus 1 by n that is equal to 30 by 15 that is equal to 2 so your value of m is 2 now you have to find k less than n minus 1 and n minus 1 comma k gcd should come as your m so, here what are the values? K less than N minus 1 is 30 and GCD of 30 and K should come equal to 2. See, GCD of 30 and K should come to means it should come like all the even numbers. Greatest common divisor it is. So, greatest common divisor how uh, you can check whether it is 2. So, you have to list out uh, the numbers in which greatest common divisor is coming as 2. So, 2, the number is less than 30. So, greatest common divisor of 30 and 2 is 2 only. What about 4? Four? 4 is also in the list because there is a 4 and 30. If you take 2 is only greatest common divisors. Then 5, it will not work. 6, 6 will not work because greatest common divisor is 6 itself. Then 7, 8, 8 will work because in 8 and 30 the only common divisor is 2. Then 9 of course not, 10 of course not because 5 and 2 both are coming as the devices. So it will not come as a greatest common divisor. So 10 will come as another divisor for that. Now likewise next 11, 12 will not come. 12 will, will come because 3 and 2 is the, then 13 if it, it will not come, 14 14 you can check 14 it is 2 into 7 7 is not a device so 2 is the only common device in this so 14 will come in the list then 16 16 uh, if you take it will come 2 uh, raised to 4 it is so only 2 is coming as a common device in 30 and 16 so 16 will come definitely then next 18 18 will not come because 3 and 2 is coming in that uh, 20 also will not come 5 and 2 is there Likewise, you list out the other uh, 20, 22 will come for uh, for sure because 2 is the only common divisor in this. Then 24 will not come, 26, 26 means 13 into 2, that will come because 2 is the only divisor. Then 28, 28 means 7 into 4, in that 2, yeah, 28 also will come. So, these many are the uh, numbers whose GCD 30 will come uh, to. So, how many are there? We have some 8 numbers here. So, means you have 8 primitive 15th root of unity. So, finding these numbers is a task. You have to find it. So, if it is relatively prime then you have you can easily find using the formula phi but if it is like a, a 2 or some other number you have to check out which all numbers giving the cd as 2 so likewise you have you can find so 8th primitive 8 primitive 15th root of unity exists in gf of in gf of 31 so that's a problem now one one more problem we'll discuss that is, find the number of primitive 10th root of unity in GF of 23. So, here our small n will come as 10 and 
your capital n is equal to 23. So n divides n minus 1. Here the problem comes. Why? Because here 10 does not divide n minus 1 is 22. So this does not divide implies there does not exist primitive primitive tenth root of unity in gf of 23. So here from the first step itself it is clear that there does not exist tenth roots of primitive tenth root of unity. So this is so easy now. So you can go by step by step procedure to find how many uh, primitive nth root of unity exists in the given Galois group. So this is the procedure. You can do it so easily now. Um, thank you for watching my video. Thank you.